Welcome to Violin Adventures number 51. This week, uh, for just a few days, I was under the weather, so we don't have as many clips as normal, but we're going to add in a harp solo, and there's a little surprise. Hope you enjoy. So we'll start off with a special rehair and also some trips to the post office for books and miniatures. And here's Dad getting the whole wall painted. It looks so much better now. Hi everyone. So this past week I was under the weather and hence you didn't get a midweek quiz because I just wasn't feeling well. Today I'm feeling much better and I'm trying to get caught up. So. I'm going to go out and do some carving. What's amazing is last night, and I'll show you some clips, we had a huge storm in the middle of the night. By 3 in the morning, it was so loud, the thundering and the lightning, and the lightning was just constant, going on and on. And I don't know how long it lasted, maybe half an hour of just constant lightning. So I tried to go outside so you could see, and I don't know if you can see much on the video. And then lots of rain, just pouring rain, so the yard was starting to fill up. And then this morning, everything is so calm. And what's so nice about these Kentucky rains is it soaks the ground, why it's so green, and then it cleans everything off. So everything is so clean that every leaf is been polished or washed off and all the spider webs are gone. Everything is so neat and clean. So I also took some video of this uh, today, what it looks like. Everything is so beautiful.
more thankful for the rain. And I, well, I better get busy. an update on the Denker carving gouge. It works much better on spruce, which is a softer piece of wood. And as long as I'm going with the grain, it works real great. This would be a, a really welcome addition to your shop if your hands are tired of going the other way. This this goes in the opposite direction and it's easy on your hands. So I don't love it entirely, but I think it would be a nice if my hand were tired with the other kind of gouging, I would go back to, to this for a break. The cuts and shavings are a lot smaller, but it does work. Now I'll go back to the other one. amazing. This is a picture from one of my special customers sent for in appreciation and this he painted is a pic picture of Tchaikovsky. And he sent a little letter that said please accept this painting of Tchaikovsky done by my hand as a token of appreciation for restoring my dad's violin. It has brought back so many fond memories and is a delight to play. And I'll have to, I'll have to hang this on the wall somewhere here in the shop. So Dr. Haas, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it and it really made my day. Kol Ramka Bagalga He Iru Birakim Tivol Ragza Vatirash Haaretz The Voice of Your Thunder In the Whirling Wind The Lightning Bolts Lit Up the World The Earth Trembled and Shook
And just a reminder, just a reminder, if any of you want one of these books, there's still a few left. There are pictures of the old shop and the new, and a few pictures on violin making and heart making. So if you want a copy, reserve yours below by just mention it in the comments below or email me. I'll put my email address in the description box below and let me know if you'd like a copy. They're $35 straight. Well, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you for commenting below and for your thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.